morning? Yes. I get up for a walk every day. Fantastic. So I set my alarm for 5.30. So what I do is I get up, I go and take a serve of fireball, mm -hmm. then I go back to bed and listen to the radio for about 15 or 20 minutes and go for my work. This morning, I fell asleep. I woke up 90 minutes later <laughs> in a puddle of sweat. So you still, had, you still felt the effects of the fireball? Well, while I was sleeping, asleep. fireball was doing its shit. So it and causing me to sweat like, because, like, well, I had the air conditioner in the house. So the yeah. house was like an icebox. This is a hot night. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. So I got up, had my fireball, and I just went, went into bed. And I normally just like there, listen to the radio or whatever. And then I fell asleep. Yeah, so literally, I had to take all the sheets and everything off the bed. But the, now we've touched on, caffeine does nothing to you. Well, like your body well, does not progress caffeine Well, obviously whatsoever. I fell asleep and my metabolism screamed. Yeah, <laughs> I was burning the most I've had today and I was sleeping. <laughs> okay. Thursday Thunder. Yes. February the 11th. 11th. It's Valentine's Day this weekend. It is. Moving right along. Mm. Um, what else has been happening? I don't know. I had breakfast this morning with Tony Takasi. Oh, he got out, did he? Yeah, he got he out got of quarantine. Out. Yep. Yep. And yesterday I had lunch with James from Glambia. Yep. So any other reps? Hit me up. Yeah, take yeah. me to lunch. <laughs> yeah, take me to lunch or breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, how's your prep? It's going well. We haven't spoken about your prep. No. You're actually prepping. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I started at 20 weeks. So we're nine and a half weeks out now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, only this week is when I started feeling the effects of everything where uh, certain foods tasted fantastic to me, uh, certain drinks don't taste as good anymore, my energy levels are dipping, I'm finding it hard to get going in the morning. But like you, I didn't wake up at about a 5.30, 6 o'clock, go to the, go to the um, kitchen, have my fat burner, and I'm out the door. So as long as I keep that up, I'm fine. Don't fall asleep. I'm trying not to. <laughs> we, we all remember a couple, like a year and a half ago when it was, you know, <laughs> it's bound to happen eventually. But well, no, as an employee, I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Anyway, so moving right along to shop talk. Mm. So what have we got? New products. We got new products. Our we first do. one is. And uh, the Oxy, Oxy, EHP Labs Oxy Way. Oxy Way, that strawberry, raspberry ripple cheesecake. Yum. <laughs> raspberry ripple. Yes, raspberry um, ripple. Yeah, so we're, Oxy Way is back in stock. Now, we used to stock this a while ago. Yep. We stopped stocking it and we got it back in stock again. So it's 80, 69.95 for one kilo. Yep, 27 serves in there. Um, it is a primarily whey protein ice that really concentrate with your digestive enzymes. They have added. changed the formula, so it used yeah. to be the other way around before that it was primary concentrate. Right, then isolate. Yeah. yeah. So this is a uh, majority isolate. Yep. And they made sure to go in there. It's non-GMO, so that's good. And it's got braille on there in case you're. Yeah. You're... Now that is interesting because we'll we'll mention that on this next yeah. product that um, braille. Or non -GMO? They have braille. EHP Labs have got braille yeah. on their products. That's unusual. And we were talking about it the other day, that is there such a huge number of blind people using supplements that will put braille on it? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a ba it makes sense. Does it? It does. What do you think of it? It does make sense. So if someone goes through like, oh, if a blind person comes up, what's the best free work at this one? Can you read it to me? Okay, sure. Have this one. Read it. I'm like, oh, and they go, oh, braille. Awesome. They can read themselves. Like, that's really nice. You know? <laughs> what if, all right, well. What about if I'm illiterate? You know, is there, why isn't there a recording on here? You shouldn't be in public, you're illiterate. <laughs> no, well, I'm just saying that. Anyway, they've got Braille on their products, which is cool it's, and, it's, and it's, 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 it's innovative. Yeah. So I'll give them Speaking that of this other product, yes. so this is the uh, EHP Labs Pride, mm. which is their new pre-workout. Have EHP actually had a pre-workout? Like I said last week, I don't think they have. Like or a like, standalone. Yeah, I don't work. know. I can't remember. Maybe they have. Maybe they haven't. Ari, can you like put a big yes or no if they did? Yeah. Thank I'm you. Not sure. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> right. You had a look at this before. You were saying. I was and You were saying as a two scoop serve. It's yeah. really good. As a two scoop serve, I think it looks fantastic. 
The only criticism I have of this product is they've added the EAAs and essential amino and BCAs in a pre-workout, which I get with, I get why. Obviously you want the amino acid and you want the aminos before a week at the workout to fuel your body, but I don't think they're a good place in a pre-workout. No, I no, 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 I, I think leave them to an intro. It, it, that's more of yeah. a padding. So if I take out the essential amino acids, you've got, uh, for a pump comp, you've got cell citrulline, no citrate, uh, nitros, nitrosagene, yep, that's the one, and betaine and hydrous. Uh, and then you have your pent affine five stage energy. I love these names. So essentially a blend of five different caffeines, ranging from caffeine hydrous, dicaffeine malate, green coffee extract, Innova tea, which is green tea extract, yerba mate, and natural bitter orange, which is uh, cinephrine. cinephrine. Yeah. And then you have your focus blend of L tyrosine, taurine, serenade. That's a good name, actually. Uh, that's phosphatyl diacerine. I can't pronounce that. And tear broma. We're going to film a full yeah. review on that after. But in a quick nutshell, how much caffeine per serve? You're looking at 100 milligrams per one scoop, 200 milligrams per two scoop. In to total, three. 400. That's when you put all of those yeah. caffeine in. Yeah, 400, 500 in two scoops. Or two scoops. Yeah. 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 So it's going to hit you hard. It's going to hit you hard. Have you seen any beat out on you? There isn't a beat out. No beat out. No. I think they've gone, they've gone down the route of taking beat out on you and going for betaine and hydrous. A lot, of, a lot of companies are taking beta alanine out. Now, yeah. one of the reasons is that beta alanine is actually a great area of product that yeah. TGA is looking into. It's also, it needs to be loaded for a long period of time to get a, like a, like a huge effect. Yeah, look, technically they reckon for beta alanine to work, you need to take about three grams a day, mm. like every day, for it to get that buffering effect. But, yeah. but, I like beta alanine pre-workout because of the tingles. Yeah, it gets, and it gives me the signal that, all right, let's go train. Yeah, it's sort of like, it's, I, I use it. It's in the system, yeah. I'm ready to go, let's go. I yeah. use it as a precursor, like, okay, that's that's in my bloodstream, I can feel that. That means everything right. else has as well, so I might as well start now. Yep. But that that is available as of now? Yes. Yep. For 69.95, this is the blue slushy flavor. Is there any other flavors? Yep. There was three other flavors. Three other flavors. The flavors up here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. So we actually got a, a shipment in last week, mm -hmm. and we just about sold it all out. Wow. But we got another shipment coming in; should be in tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. So ended up being very, very popular. Um, also from EHP Labs, uh, there's a new Oxy Shred flavor, Gummy Snake. Gummy Snake. We've got that in stock Good. now. Yep. Uh, now also uh, that's come in has been the Switch Nutrition Power Switch, yep. which we did use, mm -hmm. uh, and we will do a full review on that in the next day or so. Yep. And the uh, Switch Nutrition updated protein switch is now in, so it's gone from 25 to 30 serve. Yes. And there's a new flavour, chocolate mint. mint, and we also have got the little 10 serve sample sizes mm -hmm. that are in stock. They're really good. I like. Them. Yeah. I like the idea of it, and especially if you have a lot of the peanut butter toffee. Yeah. Yeah, peanut butter toffee is mm -hmm. an excellent flavor. Great. Uh, also, back in stock, finally. Yes. Finally, Mike. Magic Jeebus. mushies. Magic mushies are back in stock. We've got a lot of it in stock too, uh, available now in store and online. We have a surplus of stock. <laughs> no, we don't. We've got a good amount of stock. Thanks, Mike. Um, now, coming soon. We, we spoke about these in a couple of episodes ago, the yes, new Primabolics products. Primabolics, yep. So the Primabolics Metabolize, the Primal Test, and the Intrawar 2.0 are all will be in stock, hopefully uh, mid to early next week. And you've been using the Primal I've been test using the Primal yes. Test, I like it. Yep. I really do, I like it. Feel awesome on it, feel really switched on. Uh, feel really great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, <laughs> one serve a day or two serves a day? I'm taking two serves a day, two in the morning and two at night. Uh, so four capsules a day, which is what they pretty well yep. say you take. And uh, speaking with Will uh, from Premier Bowls and Red there's no need to take any more than that. It's one month serve take based on that, which is like the most of the Awesome. Um, test boost, test boost, test boost. So Will Davey from Primabolics will be coming to Adelaide soon. We're going to be featuring him on our videos. Yep. Uh, he will. He's one of the premier formulators in the country. I'm looking forward to meeting. Yeah. So uh, he's going to be talking about his range, and not only that, just generally supplements. What's new? Mm -hmm. What's trending? Um, how do you use subs properly? Everything. Yep. Very Excellent. Nice. Looking forward. That's going to be that. a good episode. Yep. Now, another new product we've got coming in, uh, 
should be in again, hopefully we'll be able to show it to you next week, is the dark side stuff. Yeah, I only heard of this a couple of days ago, from yep. yourself, yep. I've never heard of them. Yep. No, they have been around for a little while, um, but they now set up manufacturing in Australia. Good. So that all of the range uh, will be constantly available with no supply shortages, etc. Um, and so we will be start introducing some of their range further on. So they've got the dark side pre, there's a fat burner, yep. there's a test tube to come in, and there's a sleep formula coming as well. I've used sleep formula. And they've got their protein powder as well. Uh, that's something we'll decide on later. I might have a look at their, all their lines, but I think. Yeah. Right yep, cool. Another, it's an Australian company. Now, it's, oh. it was based in America, but uh, these people in Australia bought it out. Yep. And are now licensed and manufacturing it in Australia. It sounds so like it, it can, product. Yeah, yeah. but it, it, it can be listed as an Australian product. Excellent. It's Australian manufactured, Australian owned, and it's exciting. There's a lot of good Australian companies yeah. now. Even, now. Even after this TGA crackdown, you've got all, all these. Yeah, good brand new company popping up and getting yep. bringing that innovative. And that's products. that's a good thing right. about because the products are now manufactured here. They're manufactured here to all the guidelines. Packaging is yep. all legit. Everything's all good. So it's not something that's going to get pulled off the shelf. No, it's great. And I love seeing. It. I love seeing the Australian. Uh, this area of the Australian business yep. grow. It's great. Yeah. No, no. The Australian companies are, are really, really doing well. Like I said, I had breakfast this morning with Tony from Maxis. Uh, there's some exciting news coming out with Maxis as well. New Good. products coming out with Maxis. Um, Tony told me to just hold off, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to talk about it a little bit more next week. Cool. So um, it's exciting. I like it. Yes. All right. Questions. Yes. Okay. All right. I've got one here. Okay. Um, from Lucio Malatesta. Ah, oh, people. <laughs> I like saying that. Malatesta. Lucio. Missing a creatine slash dose slash sir for one to two days, does it have a negative effect? No. 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 If you've been taking it for a long time, your creatine sort of up. Yeah. Full for a while. You it, could... It's been showing that once your muscles are saturated with creatine, yep. it takes up to four to six weeks it's crazy. for them to drop down to your yeah. natural levels. So missing one serve or That's even a good two. Not many know that. That's great. No. What's the so even missing one to two serves, it's not going to make any effect. No, not at so, all. So, but the take-home point from this question is that with supplementation, like your training, be consistent. Mm -hmm. Don't you know? If you go into a program of supplementation, be consistent with it. Uh, people have told me that in stores they'll pick up something and say, "Oh, it says here to take like two capsules twice a day. What, can I just take one?" Which you you can, but you're going to get no yeah. effect. Yeah, you're not going to get bugs. Yeah. Yeah. And everything, usually with supplements, the dosage is the minimum dosage. Yeah, that's the the recommended daily safe intake. Yeah, minimum yeah. that they have to put on. So yeah, don't worry about it. Um, just start taking your creatine again mm -hmm. and move on. Cool. I have a question from uh, Daniel Duvencidis. Oh, Daniel, yes. ICN competitor. He sure is. He did the Classic the Division. He did Classic at Nationals, I believe, as well. And his question is, uh, is it better to cut calories or increase cardio when cutting? Can one be more effective to retain the mass you have gained or does it come down to preference? Um, I would say on the safe side, it's better to go choose one or the other, not both. Um, it all depends if you want to cut out 100 calories from your food or you're going to try adding a cardio session to burn that 100 calories. You're still going to have a net loss of 100 calories. When I started, when I was competing, I always had the... the the notion or adage that I'd rather increase my output yep. than decrease my heat. That's exactly what I go by. If like there are certain I mean you need to go in you need to drop calories, I think, if of you're course. really seriously cutting. Yeah. But the first way to do it is to maybe increase your output. Yeah, so that's what I would do. I would I would opt to increase someone's output rather than decrease the input because when you are comp prepping and you're trying to lose weight the hardest part is sticking to an eating schedule where if you've got half an hour free for the day, go for a walk. It's that simple, you can burn probably 90 calories in a half an hour walk, give or take. You do that once a day, add it up over you know, a week, that's 450 calories, give or take, 540, that's wrong. So yeah, and in terms of retaining mass, no, there is not one more than the other. Um, no, well, nothing that I've read anyway. I 
I can only speculate that if you're not you know, using your muscles as much as you would. No, and the only yeah. way that would come into is if you drop yourself into a really severe calorie deficit. Very severe calorie yeah. deficit. So then your body will start you're burning muscle tissue. So yeah. There is there's something that I want to touch base on that a lot of people want to say. Um, you drop, you take out all your carbohydrates to, you know, burn fat. So, or, well, you do that and then, oh, what if I go through too much and I start burning through muscle? So burning through muscle is a body process called gluconeogenesis, where it breaks down proteins to the base amino acids and then progresses those amino acids through to glycogen to be fueled as a, as a fuel source. In order to get to that level, you have to deplete your body's entire supplies of glycogen from your muscle and your liver, go through your fat as well, before it even gets to your protein. So you have a lot to get there. Obviously this, ha this happens pretty quickly when someone going out oh, well, they're following say a ketogenic diet, they're more, they're more susceptible to this just because your body is gonna lose all muscle glycogen regardless. Um, but yeah, in terms of retaining mass, just one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, hopefully that answers your question, Daniel. I have a few more actually from... We'll do a couple more. Yeah, from Stu. Stu. Stu Shannon. Ah, yes. Growth Labs Australia. Mm -hmm. Also one of Australia's premier formulators. I wonder what he's asking. He's asking. <laughs> he's, he's written down several questions. So I'm going to pick some that I want to, I want to ask. I want to question. Uh, touch on creatine. Is there too much? Is there a, is there a such thing as too much creatine? Uh, I say there is such thing as too much of anything. Yes. Yes. I would say too much creatine gets to the point where your body is take your gut is so full of creatine you're just going to feel bloated and disgusting. Yeah, I think and also you'll just be pissing it out. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna you're gonna feel horrible. There's a there's a there's a saturation point in your muscles and that's it. Yeah. 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 So of course as everything there's always a, there's always a too much, um, but it's better to be too little than too much. No, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, look, just, I think, just stick to 10 grams a day of creatine. Mm. If you're gonna load, no more than 20 grams a day yep. for five days. I'm loading 20 grams at the moment, and I have no gut discomfort. Yep. And that's because I keep myself adequately hydrated at all times. There's always water in my stomach. Uh, but so it's also showing that you're using a good quality of creatine. Yes, I'm using 100% yeah. creatine, uh, creatine pure. So yeah. the German-made creatine. Yep. Uh, a lot of other creatines you'll see they. Which brand is that? That is the ATP Science. ATP Science, which is creatine pure creatine. Yes. Okay. Next question is acetyl L-carnitine or L-carnitine L-tartrate, which is better for weight loss? Ah, now that's interesting. Mm. I have had this question asked before. Yes. How would you answer it? I would answer it as I would I would consider acetyl L carnitine better because it gives you that acetyl choline edge and to give you to give you more of a focus. Yeah, that's, now, that was my answer yeah. as well. The yeah. L tartrate part is tartaric acid, which is essentially a sodium, so it helps buffer uh, buffer lactic acid as well as enhances the absorbility but because it is sodium. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's cheaper as well, in the long run, but I would say carnitine is better for weight loss just because it gives you that mental edge. Yeah, exactly, it Cro crosses the brain barrier, so yeah, it's an, it's an atropic. Yes, exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that two more. In, you know, it was really funny, like, when I started this business, mm. you know, I've been in this business for over... Yeah, yeah, something, <laughs> yes, something like, like so that. Like, when the only carnitine back then was Musashi L card. Yeah. And it was like, it was 100 grand, was like 95 bucks. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But it was the only one, that was it. Yeah. Then acetyl L carnitine, and acetyl L carnitine was horrendously expensive. Like 50 grand yeah. for 130 bucks. Jesus. Yeah. You know? um, now the same could be same story can be applied to creatine, and now over the years it's gone totally around the other way yep. around. Whereas acetyl L carnitine really really cheap. Mm -hmm. Same with creatine really really cheap. Yeah. If you're not if you're not using if you're complaining about the cost of supplements and you're not using creatine, well you're really yeah. Yeah. You should be using creatine. It's so cheap. Anyway, okay. on. one more question. One more question. Do I need both glutamine and amino acids for recovery? And if so, how are they different? I, I like the extra glutamine for its other health benefits, not yes. just recovery. 
Yes. Yeah. Um, glutamine is also found most abundant in skeletal muscle. So right. if you do deplete your glutamine, you are at the risk of you know less muscular output, less energy, less power. So glutamine is great for recovery because it keeps your glycogen sto your glutamine stores full. Uh, glutamine also is great for the gut microbiome brain now as of the new, some new studies yep. like glutamine is great for the brain uh, it's also a main, uh, great for the system. immune system yes but this is at very high dosages like yep. 40 grams a day which, which is what nick jones yeah, 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 yeah. actually 40 grams a day of glutamine it's crazy yeah. like, that's literally one tablespoon and amino acids uh well again your entire body is comprised of amino acids so keeping your essential amino acids to, as peak as much as they can is always going to be beneficial for you, for you to in the long run. So if you want to amplify recovery a bit better, I would go aminos and L-glutamine. If you want to just get uh, get a, a touch, like a heads up on you know the flu season or you've got a sensitive gut, go to L-glutamine. If you've got, if you just want, don't want to go that way and just go straight for aminos, just go aminos. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's, we've always said, and others as well, mm -hmm. if you feel a cold coming on, up your dose of glutamine, yeah. like up, you know, 20 to 40 yes. grams a day to boost your immune system and you'll find that you, you might fight it off. Yeah, glutamine is also a very, very powerful anti-catabolic, especially in a caloric deficit. So uh, add that in if you're dieting. Yep. Myself, I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> it always happens. Yep. But yeah, that's some good questions. That's it. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. If you've got any questions you'd like us to answer or attempt to answer, send them mm -hmm. through to us on our socials and we will do so next week. Yeah, we will. That's it. That's it. Thanks guys for tuning in. As always, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle, Australian Muscle the Gym, and Australian Muscle Online. With free Australia wide delivery. No, that's free Australia wide delivery is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's delivered by you. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of deliveries this morning. Yep. Alright guys, thanks. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye.